Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay and I work at the library. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own bubble wand using just a few simple materials. So first, you're going to need two pipe cleaners. You're going to need some beads and you might need a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm just gonna tilt it down so you can see me make the craft. So the reason we have two pipe cleaners is because one's going to be the handle and then the other one you can use to make a really fun shape. Now I'm just gonna make mine into a square. I'm gonna make it really simple. I've also seen how you can use a cookie cutter to make your shape as well. So I'm gonna make my shape. I've got my square here. It's kind of a funny looking square, isn't it? It's not perfect, but that's okay. Once you're happy with your shape, you can attach the handle to it. So I'm going to attach my handle at the top here. I'm gonna twist it around so it doesn't come undone. Okay, now the reason you might need the pair of scissors is perhaps the handle is too long for you or you don't need all of the pipe cleaner at the top when you're making your shape. So you might wanna use the scissors to cut off a little bit at the end. And now the really fun part, you get to decorate your bubble wand. So I'm going to use my colored beads here. I'm gonna attach them to the handle, make a really fun wand. So I'm gonna add a purple one, a gold one, blue one, and then a red one. And now I wanna make mine into a pattern. So which one do you think I need to add next? A pattern is something that repeats. So I've got purple, gold, blue, red. Next, if I wanna repeat it, I'm gonna put another purple. So let's do that. Purple. Then what do I need? Gold, okay. Let's add a gold one. Then I'm going to add a blue. And finally, a red. So I could keep repeating that pattern the whole way down. You can make yours into whatever you want. You can use whichever colors you'd like. You don't have to do a pattern if you don't want to. It's up to you. You make whatever you'd like for your bubble wand. Once I've added all of my beads at the end though, I'm just gonna twist the end up just so my beads don't fall off. And there is my very quick bubble wand. Okay. Next, you might have to make some bubbles or you might have some at your house. To make bubbles, you could use dish soap and water. I've also seen if you add glycerin in, that might make the bubbles really, really big. So have some fun, make some bubbles and enjoy your bubble wand. Bye for now.